So now I'm layering in some gray down here to the bottom of the vase and it's making it look really good. I'm going to clean my paintbrush again and now I get to start on the flower, which is the exciting part. I'm gonna do a mix of this orange and this pink here. We'll see how that looks. I think it'll look about right. We can always come yes. back and, and change the color. So now I'm just gonna put on, yeah, ooh, it's really working. bright. Really bright, so we'll see what we can do with some white and maybe a little bit of gray, actually. We're just experimenting to see if we can get a natural color. Again, if it's not exact, that's totally fine. Using a little bit of black here. This is complicated as far as mixing the colors go, so um, just encourage the children to mix the pink and the orange um, with a little bit of brown. And then a touch of gray. It's okay if it goes into the, the green and kind of gets mixed up a little bit. That's kind of how she works. As you can see the top, some of these, the roses is pink and orange, a lot of pink and orange. So we're just gonna add that in for the darker spots, that orange again. It looks great. We'll do the orange right here too, and then up here. We can do this one as well. Splotches are cool, okay? Here's our top flower. Again, started with the brown, but then it's a lot of uh, lighter colors. I'm gonna take a little white now. I'm gonna add a little white to that top flower. I'm gonna add a little bit of white to my center flower now. Again, it's a, <coughs> probably a cabbage rose, so that's, that's what we're doing there. It just looks so full, it looks like it's about to fall off. Oh, and we can't forget the petal down here. We'll just take what's on our brush and go like this. Okay, add a little bit of white to that down there. Oh, that looks great. Okay, now we're gonna go for the background. This is the part that I'm a little <laughs> nervous about. Turn it off, we'll redo it again. Okay. 